Welcome to part six of my Gatton CNC build. Now in this installment, we're going to take the CNC build from this to this, plus a little extra. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the pace of the build series a little bit here because a lot of this is repetition of things that I've already highlighted and I've already shown you. There's a lot of drilling, a lot of cutting to length, pilot holes, etc., etc. So there's no sense in rehashing that as though you're seeing it for the first time. Before I took the shoestring budget CNC apart to make room for the Gatton CNC, I did V-carve the Gatton CNC logo on the front gantry panel. Then I glued the inner and outer gantry panels together, then stained and finished them off camera. Then I passed them both through the table saw, shaving just a slight amount off the bottom of each panel to make them perfectly flush and exactly the same width. And I did it in multiple passes and ended up only taking maybe 3 64ths of an inch off of it. Then the gantry panels and the aluminum rails were cut to final length. And the rails were cleaned up on the sander and then dressed with the file. Then I set about getting two clips in the wrong order by laying out the mounting holes for the gantry panels, which already have the aluminum rails mounted to them, then drilling holes on the drill press, and then countersinking them. Then I mounted the aluminum rails on them. Oops. Then I clamped the completed rails to the gantry uprights and made my final adjustments before finally screw them in, screwing them into place. In episode one of this build series, I mentioned that I was going to be making several modifications to my Gatton CNC build. And this is one of them. This is a set of puck lights, LED puck lights, that were designed to be used for low voltage under cabinet lighting in your kitchen, bathroom, whichever. I'm going to incorporate those into the bottom panel of the gantry on my Gatton CNC build. Now there are many different options when it comes to LED lighting. I went ahead and chose a plug-in type of system that controls three separate puck lights. I've seen people use uh, LED strips, I've seen people use beam lights that run the whole width of a gantry, but I chose these simply because they're going to be placed strategically underneath to light up the area under my gantry. I don't really need full side-to-side -side coverage. Your mileage may vary and whatever option works for you is a good one. Now this particular kit I picked up at my local Home Depot and it comes with the three puck lights and you can see they're a little bit less than a half inch thick. It comes with the power supply which is incorporated into the plug the plug has a little switch on it, which I will not be using. And it comes with this little junction box. The power supply plugs into the junction box here on the end. And each one of the puck lights plugs into one of these spaces right here. They also give you a bag of mounting screws and some uh, cable staples, which to help you keep things nice and tidy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recess these lights into the bottom panel using a spacer block, a mounting block, mounted on top of the bottom panel. And that will keep these tucked up inside where they won't get in the way. The gantry top and bottom panels were cut to length and then the light mounting blocks were cut from the leftover bottom panel scrap. Then I laid out the hole locations on the bottom panel, cut them out with a three inch hole saw. I prefer to drill down into the workpiece until the hole saw's pilot bit comes through the bottom of the material. Then I flip that piece over and finish the cut from the other direction. This pre helps prevent tear out around the outside of the hole. Then I laid out the mounting locations for the lights, mocked up the assembly, 
before staining and finishing all the parts. And once all the parts had been finished, I mounted the lights to their mounting blocks permanently. Then I installed the gantry bottom panel using two and a half inch long number 10 exterior wood, wood screws. Now with the bottom panel in place, I can go ahead and drop the lights down into their locations, screw them down, plug them all into the junction box, then fasten the junction box down. I will go ahead and plug the power pack into the junction box and each individual light. Now all that's left to do is plug it in, test it, then do some cable cleanup, and then we can button up the top of the gantry box. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's going to be so much better. All in all, it was a quick, easy install. It only added maybe, maybe an additional 30 minutes to the assembly process. This kit was about $30. There are cheaper kits out there. There are more expensive kits out there. But that's really going to help out a lot. So with the lighting installed and working very well, that's the end of part six. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you got anything at all out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button down there. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of this build, consider subscribing to my channel. Now I put a link in the description box below to a playlist that contains all the episodes so far to this build series. Again, thank you very much for watching, and y'all take care.